Hi, and welcome back to my journey. Happy belated Mother's Day to all of you out there. Um, I haven't done a video prior to that, so this is my first chance of saying that. Um, the last little over a week now has been up and down. I had some waves and windows. Um, the windows have been actually kind of good, um, but the waves have been more, I guess. So that's why I've been kind of away from making videos. Even today, I kind of don't feel like doing this, but I'm going to, we're going to try to knock this out. Um, it's kind of rainy and gloomy, which is kind of the way I feel. So I guess that's, uh, actually, that's not fair. Yesterday was Mother's Day. It was, it was a good day. Um, I think some of you might be able to relate to this. It was weird because I was sitting there with my family. I went over to my mom's and yesterday was kind of a down day for me. Um, and I just felt alone with like nine people around. Um, I don't know if anybody of you can relate to that. And I know some of you out there and God bless you, you, you know, you didn't have that luxury. <laughs> um, so I, I am very blessed that I was able to go to my mom's and my sister was there with her children and my wife and my daughter was there. And, but at the same time, I felt very like I wasn't part of the crowd. I wasn't the TV was on, which I hate. To, I mean, just there was just a lot going on. And I just I just felt just. I don't know how else to explain it. Just like I it wasn't. I wasn't supposed to be there. Um, or I just felt out of place. Let's put it that way. I'm rambling too much. I saw my doctor this morning. Um, I realized because I gave her some stuff from the world benzodiazepine, because she had asked me to give her a couple of those flyers if I'd print her out some, so I did. Um, and she read them over, and I realized we're basically asking our doctors to admit that they are a part of our, our reason for this. And I think, like in her case, I, I could tell by the way she was talking, and I won't get into that, that's between me and her, but, and there wasn't a lot said, actually, but it was just even the the tone, um, and I think she's still even trying to come to grips with, you know, what's going on, but we're asking doctors to admit that they maybe very possibly by no fault of their own, you know, are causing a lot of this, and I don't think, and I realized, and I think I've said this before on camera, but I realized that's not fair. We took these medications in good faith, and I think most 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 doctors prescribe them in good faith. So, and then when they see that there is something that could be contrary, I understand. It's like in my life, when there's something that I don't want to look at, I don't. Um, cognitive dissonance is a very real thing um, for everyone. And anyway, that's that was just an observation. Um, I wanted to again say thank you to all of you in the comments. Um, I love every one of you and appreciate the well wishes. Um, people sometimes contact me just to see how I'm doing. Um, if you do want to correspond with me, I don't do it a lot, but you know, if you ask, I'll send you my email address or whatever. Um, if you're in the States, I have one person that we text from time to time. Um, and if you're out there, I hope you're doing well if you see this video. Um, again, that's something that I think a lot of you can relate to. I have a, a phobia for whatever reason of the phone. Um, it kind of gets my gets me amped up to talk on the phone to whatever, even to somebody who understands. So if you do contact me and if I just reach out through email or whatever, then, or even text. Um, but anyway, I, I will. Um, and coming to the end of the school year, at least that's where I'm at. Um, and it's hard because this is the end of my daughter's uh, elementary school. This is her last year. Um, we'll be moving into middle school next year, and I more than likely will not be going. You know, it's only it's a one-hour little thing, and then they leave. And I don't. I think she could care less, but. It's another one of those things where, you know, when there's nothing really going on, it's just, and I don't want to sound whiny, but that's kind of, I don't know. I just, you know, when there's like things like Mother's Day or you know, even like my wife, I really wanted to express to her how much, how important she is to me. Um, I've usually, I write something out. 
Um, this year I didn't. I mean, I, I just, I told her. I obviously didn't get her a card because I'm not driving. I didn't get her flowers, which that really has never been our thing anyway, or jewelry or anything like that. Um, and not because I'm a jerk or whatever, just because we've always kind of agreed that any of these Hallmark holidays that, you know, if there's something that we really need or want, we'll save up together and we'll talk about it and whatever. And so that it really wasn't so much that it was just the fact that I couldn't. And I think that's one of the things is, I guess the name of my channel, learning to let go, learning to just accept that that's what it is at the moment. Um, I'm down to 29.5, which I'm feeling it because I kind of pushed a little bit over the weekend to get to that. Um, but because I've been holding more. And I'm actually, I'm going to look into dry cutting with a gram scale. So if any of you have any, um, uh, there's one gentleman that I've talked to quite a bit, but if any of you have any ideas, if you've tried it yourself, if you've tried one or the other, um, I'm interested because I think it maybe it might be more accurate because I'm noticing as I'm getting really low with the water, I mean, at this point, it's like I look at the water and how small it is and I want to just not take it, but I realize that, that doesn't work. Um, so it obviously is still working. Um, but it just seems like there's so, there's some days it seems like there's more medication and I feel a little better because it's like I'm, I'm up dosing a little and there's some days that, you know, the taste is mostly just water. And again, that could be all psychological. So this is just my journey. Oh, and I know I should have talked about this. I guess people are being flagged for talking about benzodiazepines on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to let that scare me off from doing this because I don't want to lose my channel. I, I, I mean, I appreciate every one of you, and it's given me a sounding board to talk about my journey. And again, this I'm not giving medical advice. I'm not. I'm just telling you what's going on with me um, and trying to be a support for anybody else. You know, I get more support from you guys, I think, than I ever give. But um, I hope it goes both ways, and that's really all I'm doing this for. So if anyone's monitoring this on YouTube, um, I'm not giving anybody medical advice. In fact, it's in my disclaimer on everything. I just, this is just what I'm going through. Um, whether you decide to come off a of Benzie or whether you're doing it anyway, or whether, you, you know, whatever it is, is what led you to this video. I mean, that's between you, your doctor and your, you know, and you, you know, that's, and that's really all I can say about that. I mean, if people, I know there are people that are scared, but if we can't talk to each other about this, who's going to? Um, that's really all I can say about that is I, I hope that they leave me. I'm not monetizing my channel. I mean, obviously I've got 50 and, and God bless every one of you that have subscribed. I don't have, you know, even if I could, I don't think at this point I would. I, I mean, obviously I'd like to, I'd love to have some extra income. Well, I mean, who wouldn't? Um, I'd like for money to go away and we, you know, find a different way of doing this, but to make it more fair for everyone. But, and I know a lot of people won't agree with that, but you know, Again, my journey, my channel, I guess I can say what I want, I suppose. Um, but I'm not monetizing it, so I'm just putting out my story. And it seems like that's the majority of people out there, just putting out their story. Now, I guess if I say stuff that, you know, and I try not to, I, I don't go into my side effects. I don't go into a lot of how I'm feeling. I mean, I'm going to a little bit because it's part of my journey, and I, I'm doing this for myself. Um, but that is kind of sad that I've heard that, that that's kind of becoming a thing. Um, anyway, like I said, if, if we can't talk amongst ourselves and, you know, at least give each other encouragement, whatever, then, you know, who's going to? And it's not that our family members won't. It's just they don't understand it in the same way that we do. So, and that's if you're going through SSR, whatever it is. I mean, how... I haven't heard anybody saying anything about cancer or whatever, but, you know, that could be a very controversial topic as well because... There's a lot of people, I'm in that camp, that don't necessarily, I mean, I lost my father to cancer, and I don't agree with modern medicine's way of looking at how we heal cancer and how we tear the body down in order to heal it. Um, but that would be just a, a discussion that I would have. So I'm hoping, you know, that this freedom of speech that we have and that we supposedly, that's why we're at war and all the rest of it, because they hate us for our freedoms. I'm hoping that, you know, they leave it alone and they let us, have conversations. Now, I'm not, and yes, if I start to become a doctor, then then they should step in and say something, but that's not the gist of what I'm trying to do. 
And I've wasted a whole lot of your time talking about that now. It wasn't my intention. But it's just I, I find it sad that there are people being flagged for that. Um, I have not, but if it happens, you know, I'll let you guys know. And I mean, I guess if it happens too quickly, I won't let you know because then they just take your channel away. But um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully that doesn't become a thing. Because um, I don't have the resources to put up my own, you know, whatever and advertise it, whatever. You know, this is my, this is my way of being able to put something out there. Anyway, again, happy Mother's Day to all of you. And just so you all know, I'm still here. I'm still making progress. Um, from my last time I saw my doctor to now, I've come down just, I mean, like a hair shy of a milligram, which actually if I do it by day by day, if I actually do make a cut, I won't do it today, I'm gonna hold today. Um, but if I do it tomorrow, I think it'll be exactly one month and I came down a milligram. I'd like to be going much faster than that, obviously, but um, that's where I'm at, you know, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I don't have anything other than that at the moment. Um, again, to all of you that are out there that are, you know, if, if you're still documenting your journey, I'd say continue doing it. Um, we'll worry about what YouTube does or doesn't do. And if there's another platform that I can do it on, then I'll find that platform and I'll do that. Um, I think it's too important. I know Benzodiazepine Awareness Day is coming up. I believe it's June 11th. Um, I plan on doing something for that, um, just to talk about my story, talk about where I've been, and try to make it, I guess, as, as, not judge, as non judgmental as I can, because I understand that, like, we've, like I've said in the past, there's people that know. But the average psychiatrist, whatever, and, and again, the reason I even mentioned money is because, you know, when I, even when I talk to my doctor, I, you can tell that, you know, that's, we need these diagnoses to come to keep people coming through the door to keep the, the revenue stream coming. Now you can't blame them for wanting to put food on their table and a roof over their head, and that's the society that we've created. Now until we create something different, it's really tough to say, "Oh, well, you've got this." So you know, like even therapists, you know, some of it is just or asking for you know if. When people come off opiates or other medications like that, and again, I'm not downplaying it, it's just, but they can go and they can do detox and insurance companies will pay for that. So there's money to be made there. With us, um, and whether I think it's SSRIs or whether it's been the, I think they're all very similar in that regard. And that's, and I did, I have come off an SSRI. And maybe I should talk more about that so I can include more people. So I can give you my journey, what that was like and what it's still like. I mean, I, I don't think, it's been about two years now, so I think I'm finally at the, you know, I think I've kind of moved through that. Um, but some of the ways that I did it would, I guess, would be me playing, actually, it would just be telling you what I did that I think worked. But um, I think I, I will maybe do a little more of that so that it doesn't become just a benzy, whatever. But, it, you know, for, it's for all mental health. Um, but I know I just completely lost track of what I was saying, but I, I know it was to the extent of not blaming all the doctors and whatever that some people do know. And um, to the ones that do, if you come across videos like this, look at what you're doing. <clears throat> Maybe not even my videos, look at other people's and look at it and say, is, is it worth it? I mean, med Western medicine has its place for lots of things. There's plenty of places you can make money. Um, don't do it at the expense of people's lives. Um, and, you know, I think life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, not just here in the United States, but around the world, it should be decreed for everyone. Um, and that's why I don't believe doctors are deliberately doing this. The, the vast, vast, vast majority of them. I don't even, maybe even the, the, you know, the people who push the medication, you know, to go into the doctor's offices and do that. I don't think they know either. They're just doing what they're told and they're earning a paycheck. Anyway, that's just kind of what's on my mind. Um, it's such a blessing to hear from every one of you. So those of you that wish to reach out and type something, it's it's so fantastic for me on a daily basis to get those words of encouragement. And I promise I will give them right back as much as I can. Just like I promised, I'm going to continue doing this, uh, sitting in front of this camera and blabbering the way I am right now. So 
peace and love to every one of you. I love you all. Um, God bless you on this journey because I know it's tough. I mean, I know how difficult it's been for me, especially in the last few weeks. Um, I know I keep saying that, so I think maybe it's because I'm getting lower, so things are just getting harder anyway. Although I still think, I'm still hoping that as I get lower, you know, really lower, it's going to start to become a little easier. Um, we'll see. And on that note, I wish all of you the very best. I wish all of you healing and getting to the other side very quickly. And for all of us to have a voice when this is done, whether it's on YouTube or what, you know, just whatever it is to have a voice to be able to say, this is what we went through. Not, not blaming anybody, but this is what needs fixed. And hopefully that'll happen. I'll talk to you soon. I love you all. Thank you.